Hello, Eleni Shear here and welcome back to my Fluid Art channel. Today I'm going to be doing a chaos pour and my colours are Iridescent Copper by PBO, Iridescent Gold by PBO, Pearl Chartreuse by Arteza, Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam, Emerald by PBO, Pearl Sea Green by Arteza and Pearl Glacier Blue by Arteza. And then I'm going to use a black, oxide black, to do some swiping before I blow it out. And this is my titanium white by Amsterdam for the background. So I'm just adding my titanium white on three quarters of the canvas. blowing it out with my hairdryer to get a nice even coverage. So I'm starting with the permanent blue violet just on the edge there and then I'm just going to randomly pour it all over the edge of the canvas there. This one is the Emerald by PBO. This is the Pearl Chartreuse by Arteza. Pearl Sea Green by Arteza. Pearl Glacier Blue by Arteza. This is the Iridescent Copper by PBO. And this is the Iridescent Gold by PBO. And I'm just randomly placing the colour. And then I'm just going to go in with my finger to fill in, fill in any gaps. Here I'm using my butane torch to get rid of any air bubbles so you don't end up with pot marks at the end of the blowout. So here I'm going to use some Oxide Black by Amsterdam on the palette knife just to give it a swipe through so that I can get some depth and a few and a little bit of lacing after I've blown it out. It really does give it a nice effect. Um, it gives it depth and just some cool effects. using my torch to get rid of any air bubbles and to create some more effects. Just adding some white here on the edge just so that it flows nicely off the edge.
So I'm going to first blow the paint off the edges here before I blow out the design. And I just can't believe how these colours go together. You wouldn't think purple and green, all the greens go together, but they absolutely do. And it turns out amazing, very striking. My hair dries on low speed and it doesn't have a cool setting, but I don't actually think that matters. I've never seen a difference. So now I'm going to go around the edges and make sure all the sides are covered. I'll just take what's on the table and just dab it with my finger, just taking the same colour that's dripped off so that it matches, the colours match. So now I'm taking the end of a brush to do some swiping and I really do think that it makes all the difference, gives it a lot more shape and interest. If you're enjoying this video, do me a favour, like, comment and share. And so you don't miss out on any future videos, please do subscribe. It helps this channel immensely with no cost to yourselves. Thank you. Let me give you a close-up. Wow, look at that lovely lacing, copper and black, and all this colorful effects, and very shimmery. And the green and the purple is just stunning together. And the copper and the gold, lovely cells, wonderful effects. I love the shape of this, and the shape of the petals. It just looks very organic and beautiful. And look at that area there, it's really, really pretty with the lacing and the green and the copper. And just stunning, I love it. Absolutely love it. Let me know what you think in the comments. I just love that green. So it looks like there's light behind it. Really pretty. 
and the sides look good as well. This should dry really nicely, hopefully. All my paints are mixed with one part paint, one part Floetrol, one part PVA glue mix, and the glue is 60% glue, 40% water, and then extra water to consistency. Check out my description box for a paint mixing video for perfect consistency. If you'd like to see another video just like this, tap the screen on the left and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.